calling UFO Phil, who was planning on building a pyramid on top of Pikes Peak. Hello? UFO Phil. Hello, George McFly. The George McFly from the George McFly Experience. How are you? I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm cold. Yeah, it's, it's the coldest day in 10 years. Yeah, I, I was planning on my calendar for months to be camping today up on the mountain, but it just didn't work out that way. It's too cold. I mean, that's Colorado for you. Are you a native of Colorado? No, no, I'm not. I'm Actually, I come from Roswell, New Mexico, but I haven't been back there in a long time. Oh, because they had that uh, incident with, uh, speaking of UFOs, is that how you got your name, UFO Phil, because you're from Roswell, New Mexico? Well, can you keep a secret? Well, I mean, we're live on the radio, but do you need me to take you off the air or no? I, I guess, no, I guess I just have to be careful what I say. <laughs> yeah, they had a Roswell incident, they call it, back in the 40s, and, and my dad was actually involved in that, and, and, and they implanted chips in his brain, and they were in contact with him, and I think that had a lot to do with why they are now talking to me. The you, the aliens are talking to you. Well, yeah. What are they saying? Right now? Are they speaking to you right now? Well, yeah, right now they're just talking about how cold it is. Hang on one second, UFO Phil. Don't move. I apologize. Hang on. Oh, wow. Wow. So we're, we're in the presence of the extraterrestrial. I, I want to talk to the guy. But I had such like a disbelief. Hey, just, just be open. I mean, seriously, be open to the to realm sure. of the possibility that I'm this guy actually, the can, guy. you know, the aliens could be. Uh, UFO Phil. Yeah, hi, George. I'm sorry. I just had a bad cramp in my foot. So you said aliens speak to you. Yeah, well, they, the aliens, they talk to me all the time. And sometimes it's good aliens and sometimes it's bad aliens. Bad aliens such as what? Well, you know, you know, the good aliens are blue and the bad aliens are red. And they both like to, to tell me different things in my ears. Like, usually the good aliens, like Zaxxon, he's the leader of the good aliens. He'll usually talk to me in this ear. And then sometimes the bad aliens, they'll tell me other things in this ear. Well, it doesn't really matter which ear. We're on the radio, so people can't actually understand which, which ear, the blue or the bad. It's almost like, you know, with other people, with regular, I didn't mean regular people to say that you're abnormal. Um, but yeah. there's a battle between good and evil in our heads. Is that what you're saying, basically? Yeah, well, basically, except that only a lot of people will have a battle with good and evil, and they'll have thoughts. And with me, it just basically, it's... Similar to that, except they cut me open and they do experiments on me all the time. Okay, oh, uh, yeah, wow. hang on one second. Okay, uh, boy. Um. Yeah, I uh, let's get right down to it. George was telling me earlier that you were planning to build a spaceship refueling station on the top of Pike's Peak. Explain that. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the aliens have given me blueprints and schematics, and basically they want me to build a giant 480.6 foot stone pyramid on the top of Pikes Peak. It's going to be beautiful. How do you plan on doing that? Can you keep a secret? Well, we're live on the radio again. If you want me to put you on hold and take you off the air, we can do that. But No, I just have to be careful what I say because you never know who's listening. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so the aliens, they, they want me to acquire these limestone bricks and they're, they're, they're 2.6 tons each and we need to carry them up the mountain and assemble this pyramid. And once it's built... It will be able to provide, it, it actually acts as a power station, just like the original Pyramid of Giza. You know, aliens built it for, for hydrogen power. And then we can then provide free energy, well, not only to Colorado Springs and, and, and the state of Colorado, but it really ultimately to the entire world, George. Power station, I heard power station, like, some like it. You know, danger is there. Yeah, some, some like, like it. it hot. It's true, I used to love that song. Some oh, that's like a great it. song. Yeah, it was. A, oh, so you do, okay. It's very old. And so are the pyramids. Did you, uh, it's it's very old. Yeah. I mean, as long as we're on the subject, I might as well just go there. Do aliens listen to music? Yeah, um, their favorite right now is Lady Gaga. They're really into that. Uh, like paparazzi? Okay. Yeah, rah, rah, shish, boom, ba. They like that song a lot. <laughs> no, that's a... Phil, when does the, the building of this power station begin? Well, I'm very excited because I finally, I just, it looks like I have approval from the Forest Service to start any time, really. So I'm just looking for somebody to, to, to donate all the uh, limestone bricks. We need 2,300,000 giant limestone bricks. So if there's anyone who's listening who has access to that kind of limestone, that'd be great because then we could get started right away. Is limestone an indigenous rock to Colorado or do you have to import it? No, I haven't found any around here yet and I've been digging a lot. Trust me, if you see a lot of those potholes in the roads, that's me. <laughs> no, that's uh, you're stone. digging with to find any. That's asphalt. Uh, UFO film. That's uh, asphalt. Don't you have a cramp oh, in your foot? Asphalt. I think you have a yeah, cramp hang, oh, hang on a second. I, UFO, I got a really bad cramp in my foot. Yeah. Out yeah. of this whole conversation, you're questioning <laughs> what kind of rock limestone <laughs> is, George? <laughs> hey, I have the faith of a child. I know, I, know he's, I know he's out there. But no, just, the truth is out there, George. That guy is.
Well, we'll let the, everybody decide for themselves if they want to visit his website. I think he is, even his video is just cool enough to check it out. Yeah, so UFO, UFOphil.com is your website. I hope you can get started soon. Keep us updated. Yeah, I appreciate it, George. And, and if I can just get you and your friends there to uh, to sign up to carry limestone as soon as we have it, we'll just get started carrying it up the mountain, okay? Yeah. Oh, we're going to get right on that. How much does each stone weigh? Almost 6,000 pounds. So I figure, you know, 60 strong people uh, just giving it the old heap hole. Uh, we can get it up the mountain. And how many do you need to build a pyramid? Really? Just a little over two million. Stop, George. Okay, so that would take um, a pretty long time. It's going to take a little while, but, I mean, we can move fast, you know. All right. Well, thank you, UFO Phil. We uh, do appreciate you talking to us. And, uh, All right. Well, have a great day, George. I, I, I hope your foot gets better. It's, it's fine. Thank May you. the force be with you. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> Wake up with the George McFly experience.